How's it going guys? It's Nick again from Ingram Audio and I have another exciting video where I'm going to show you how to route your favorite Drum Daddy libraries in Cubase. I have an empty Cubase project here and I want to add Drum Daddy producer kit, but I want to route each drum and cymbal in the Drum Daddy producer kit into its own track in Cubase. That way I can throw on third party plugins or automate them any way I wish. So to do that, I'm going to need to create a rack instrument. In order to create a rack instrument, I'm going to go over here to the right and I'm going to make sure that this little tab is selected. Then I'm going to select the VST tab. And now I can either select rack or I can just right click underneath it and add rack instrument. So I'm going to select that. And then I have the choice to choose which instrument I want to select. I'm going to select contact. Mine is contact seven. Yours may be a different number depending on what you have. Could be the future, could be the past, I don't know. Wouldn't it be the past, that wouldn't make any sense. And then I'm gonna hit create, I suppose. Now it's gonna pull up contact for me. And now that I have contact pulled up, I wanna be able to see this output section on the bottom. If you don't see this output section on the bottom, all you have to do is simply go up here to the top and you'll see this little icon that looks like this and you wanna click on it. And you wanna make sure you have the outputs selected. I have mine selected so it shows up down here. And this part's really important. If you don't follow all these steps, it will not work. I spent some time today trying to figure this out, actually. So the first thing you want to do is click on the little plus sign where it says outputs. This may look different. It may look the same. Either way, you're going to follow these steps. Click on this little plus sign where it says outputs. And then on the first one, for this video, I'm going to do, I'm going to do nine tracks. This is going to give me nine tracks that I can now send things to in contact. Yours might be a different number if you're doing something different. For the number of channels, I'm going to leave it on two because that's going to leave each track as a stereo track. And then for host output, I'm going to select the first one, which should look like this. KT Stereo 1. That's my guess. I'm assuming they all look like that. And then where it says ascending output assignment, make sure that's selected select delete existing channels and then just for the hell of it we're going to select make this your default configuration i'm going to hit okay i'm going to hit okay again all right now i'm going to name all these i'm going to name each one of these as what they're supposed to be normally in real life i wouldn't name these because i live in chaos i suppose hats ride china overhead and room. So this is gonna be all the drums in the producer kit that I'm gonna be routing out. So the next thing I want to do is I wanna go over here where it says presets bash configuration. Click on it, go to the first one where it says save current output section state, and I wanna select all formats. I'm gonna hit okay, or I'm just gonna select that. There's no okay, I'm just gonna select it. I selected it. And then I'm gonna close out of that contact that I just created. So I'm gonna go over here, no VST instrument, it's gone. And then I'm gonna get rid of this so I don't have to look at it. No trace of that ever existing. Now I'm gonna recreate a rack instrument. I'm gonna right click, add rack instrument, and then I'm gonna open up contact again. Create, yes. Now that I have contact open, I'm gonna go over back to the right section and this little arrow pointing down next to contact, I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna to go to activate outputs. And I want to activate all those outputs that I just created in contact, which was nine of them. So I want to select all of these that I just made. Yeah, down to there, down to the room. Cool, that's it for that part. And then now I can get rid of this little output section because I don't really need to look at that anymore. And now let's open Drum Daddy. Let's open the producer kit. And we're gonna start routing the producer kit. So I'm gonna start with the kick drum because it's the first drum, I think, in a drum kit. That's how my brain works, I don't know. Maybe it's the first drum. So I'm gonna select my kick. I'm gonna go up to the kick direct, where it says default, and then I'm just gonna select kicked, go to overhead, and then kick room. And I'm gonna follow the same steps for all the drums and cymbals minus the two crashes, because that's where it's gonna get different.
And the crash left and right is going to be a little different than the shells and the hi-hats ride in China because the crash left and right do not have a direct microphone. It is just the overhead and room mic. So for the crash left, I'm going to set the crash left overhead to overhead and then the crash left room to room and then do the same thing for the right. Now that I've done that, all of my drums in the producer kit or Drum Daddy OG, you can follow the same steps, should be going to the correct tracks in Cubase that I set them to. So let me close out of here. Let me put in a little drum beat here and we'll take a look. Oh, there we go. Cool. Now I have every drum going to its own track in Cubase. Now I can go in here and I can mix them any way I want to. That is how you do it. Thanks for watching.